Okay, so good afternoon and thank you for this opportunity. Um, in this talk, I want to present you a project whose aim uh, is to contribute to the mathematical foundation of uh, adaptive immunity by, by building a mathematical uh, environment uh, adapted to describe uh, those uh, mechanisms uh, involved uh, in, anti in uh, antibody affinity maturation. This is a key process in adaptive immunity as it allows to produce uh, antigen-specific uh, antibodies against almost uh, uh, all kinds of pathogens. Uh, besides the biological motivations, um, this uh, is a general model which could uh, also be relevant to model other evolutionary processes, but also uh, gossip or virus uh, propagation as well. So our aim is to understand the interaction between uh, division, mutation and selection in uh, elementary models uh, which already brings uh, interesting uh, mathematical problems. And uh, our method is based on the complementarity between uh, probabilistic tools and numerical simulations. So uh, my presentation will be divided into four main parts. In the first one, I will introduce the biological context. Uh, then I will talk about the pure mutational models. And uh, after that, I will introduce division and finally pass uh, to the complete uh, model including division, mutation and selection. I will, o I will always start by giving the definitions then some um, theoretical results and uh, uh, finally I conclude with some numerical simulations. So the um, biological uh, background is the immune system. The immune system can be divided into innate immune system and adaptive immune system. The immune, uh, 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 the immune uh, system uh, defenses react uh, very quickly, but they are non-specific, meaning that uh, they uh, uh, respond uh, to pathogens in a gener generic way. Um, on the other hand, uh, the adaptive immune system takes a more long time to react, uh, but it can adapt uh, uh, against uh, almost all pathogens that could uh, penetrate our organism and inflict diseases. In this context, Immunity is conferred by special proteins called antibodies, and the agents that cause their production are named antigens. Uh, the production of antibodies is assured by special lymphocytes called B cells, which, are, which have to be trained in order uh, to improve their ability to recognize the specific uh, antigen presented. Uh, activated B cell uh, travel uh, near, uh, to the nearby uh, lymph node, and uh, here they give rise, together with other immunity cells, of course, to a special microenvironment called uh, germinal centers, in which they proliferate, uh, uh, mutate and uh, differentiate. Uh, at the same time, they also uh, submit to power se powerful <coughs> selection mechanisms in order to improve uh, uh, their uh, anti uh, antigen affinity. Uh, on the outer surface, uh, of uh, each B cells are localized 100,000 of identical transmembrane receptor uh, uh, proteins called uh, B cell receptors, BCR for short, uh, which allows the B cell to recognize the specific antigen. And the binding between BC, uh, B cell and antigen is possible if the uh, amino acids uh, composing uh, the BCR and presented on the surface of the antigen are distributed in such a way to create bonds. Um, the BCR are Y-shaped molecules uh, composed on, of two parts, a variable part and uh, uh, a constant uh, region. <coughs> the binding site is localized on the variable region of the BCR, which is the only one involved in mutation during uh, the germinal center reaction. Um, in, uh, this special, uh, in, this, in this particular context, mutations are called uh, uh, somatic uh, hypermutation. With these terms, we, with we mean mutation which uh, arrives at a very high rate, and uh, the which are ex essentially random mutations. So it's, uh, we clearly need the selection in order <coughs> to obtain a, a sp specialized uh, antibody in a reasonable time. So our aim is to build a mathematical framework uh, in which uh, we can pattern and uh, study uh, <coughs> this uh, kind uh, uh, of processes. Um, the analysis we made of the problem uh, suggests us to um, uh, model uh, this, uh, this uh, mutation process as a random walks on graphs whose characteristics change depending uh, on the mutational uh, uh, rule allowed. 
In particular, we suppose we are able to classify the amino acids which compose the BCR and, uh, and characterize the chemical properties into two classes, named 0 or 1. They may correspond to uh, positively charged amino acids and negatively charged amino acids. Therefore, BCR and antigen are represented as uh, n-length uh, binary strings. We call HN the state, the state space of all possible BCR. Therefore, uh, we model uh, the affinity using the amine distance uh, between these two strings. In particular, we suppose that the optimal BCR is obtained when the, it's the amine distance between the BCR representing string and the antigen representing string is zero valued. And finally, to define a, a mutational rule means to define a random walk on, uh, on the graph. Well, I start with pure mutational models. We can, of course, uh, um, uh, define a very different mutational rule. In particular, uh, we uh, define the uh, rule of simple point mutations uh, in which at each time step uh, a randomly chosen amino acid uh, switch the class it belongs to. Uh, mathematically, this gives rise to a simple random work on the n-dimensional hypercurve. Of course, uh, this kind of random world has been uh, already studied in many different contexts, but here <coughs> it represents for us the basic mutational model, and we will use it to define more complex mutational rule. And uh, I give uh, the notation of the transition probability matrix, uh, which is P, and we will use it uh, uh, later also. Uh, of course, we can complexify this model in many different ways. For example, here we propose a model of class switch of one or two length strings depending on the affinity. In particular, if the amine distance between BCR and antigen is greater or equal to two, then we have to switch two bits, one bit otherwise. And mathematically, what we obtain is a graph divided into two subgraphs. Uh, the one uh, uh, containing the antigen target cell is accessible from the other, but not conversely. Uh, we can understand maybe better uh, from this uh, little example um, how this uh, mutational model works. Well, uh, at the beginning, uh, the aiming distance is equal to three, the blue bits, so we have to change for the first step uh, two elements. Therefore, here we have just uh, one bit, uh, the amine distance just equal to one, and so for the next time st step, we will have to change just one uh, bit and so on. Uh, finally, I propose here also another uh, uh, mutational rule, well, a class of mutational rules, uh, which is the multiple point mutations. That means that at each time step, step with a given probability a i, I, I'm allowed <coughs> to do i independent uh, um, simple point mutations. Uh, with i between 1 and k, and k fixed. In this context, once we fix uh, k, uh, I propose two uh, variants of the model of mul uh, multiple point mutations. In the first case, uh, oh, sorry, the first case uh, um, with uh, equal probability 1 over k, I'm allowed to do between 1 and k mutation, and in the second case, I always do uh, exactly k, uh, k star mutation at each time step, where k star is the, um, the greater or the value smaller or equal to k. Um, in, uh, we were interested in understanding how the typical time scales of uh, state space exploration change depending on the introduced mutational rule. It's for this, this reason that we get interested in studying the eating time. The eating time is defined as the expected number of steps so we need to reach a specific position of the graph given the departure node. It has a clear biological interpretation and the time uh, needed to obtain the optimal BCR given uh, the naive BCR trait. And uh, for the uh, models, uh, mutational models I introduced, we were able to obtain explicit formulas to evaluate it or at least uh, estimations for n big enough. As, and so uh, we, can, uh, we, we can compare uh, this uh, different mutational model and their ability of exploring the state space. Here, uh, I summarize the main results we obtained for the three mutational models I introduced. Uh, well, I was saying uh, here, I just collected the main results we obtained for the three uh, mutational models I introduced. Uh, so this is uh, the, um, we evaluated the minuting time uh, to cover an, an initial amine distance uh, D-bar. And I conclude the first part with some numerical simulations. Uh, uh, in this first uh, simulation, I compare the eating time uh, for the basic model and for the model for the model of uh, one or two uh, 
uh, of switch uh, of uh, one or two line strings depending on the affinity, as demonstrated by, by mathematical analysis for n big enough, uh, uh, we obtain that dating time for this second model is halved uh, compared to the basic mutational model. And here uh, I give the results uh, f over we obtain for n equal to 10 over 5,000 simulations, so n is not so big actually. And in these uh, last simulations, uh, I compare uh, the mating time uh, to cover uh, an initial mean distance d uh, for the two models I introduced of multiple point mutations. Uh, we can demonstrate by uh, spectral analysis that uh, the model uh, represented by p power k star uh, actually optimizes this mating time for k strictly greater than k uh, for k strictly greater than two. Well, now we intro I introduce the division process. Uh, mathematically, we will talk about uh, simple branching, simple two branching random work. The process starts uh, at time zero with a randomly chosen um, BCR entering the germinal centers and the label is active. So we have uh, at the initial a random node of, the <coughs> of our state space HN, label is active, then at each time uh, each active node chooses two of its neighbor. Uh, randomly and uh, with replacement to, to become active at the time t plus 1 and it becomes inactive even if of course another active node chooses it. And in this uh, context we are uh, not interested in counting how many times a node is chosen to become active. We also, uh, I also work uh, um, uh, over this uh, uh, this model but, by I, but I don't uh, want to show you here this result. Uh, so, um, uh, of course, the addition of uh, the division process implies a substantial speed up uh, in the uh, state space in the, in the state space exploration. So, in this context, uh, we were interested in, uh, in uh, observing uh, the proportion of uh, active nodes we can obtain after uh, a time uh, after an order of n time steps, and comparing uh, the different mutational models I introduced. Uh, so using uh, um, a process uh, um, they, they introduced here in this paper to evaluate uh, um, partial cover times in more general context and uh, evaluating the expansion properties of uh, the graph underlined respectively by matrix P and the PK, we can obtain, uh, we were able to obtain these two results for uh, the simple two branching random work referring to P and uh, PK respectively. And we observe that uh, uh, while using uh, a simple uh, point mutation model, uh, we obtain after uh, great o, uh, n uh, time steps just a little portion of uh, uh, active node in the state space. By using this uh, mutational model, almost a half of the state space will be activated af after uh, a time uh, of the order of n. And uh, independently from k greater than 2, which is really uh, interesting. Uh, I conclude the, first part, uh, the second part uh, with another numerical simulation. Here I compare uh, the evolution of the size of the active, uh, uh, s uh, of the active set, comparing the three uh, mutational models I already discussed. Uh, so uh, in blue I represent uh, the simple point mutations. Uh, in red, uh, the multiple point mutation corresponding to matrix P power K star, and in green, uh, the other model of multiple point mutations. Uh, we observe uh, that uh, this last process is the faster one in spreading, and also is the only one which uh, uh, allowed to cover all uh, nodes uh, simultaneously. This is due to a characteristics uh, of uh, the graphs underlined by P and P power K star respectively, uh, which is the bipartitness. The only non bipartite graph is uh, uh, the one uh, corresponding to the red uh, curve. Uh, in uh, the uh, horizontal uh, blue and green lines uh, represent the size of the active uh, uh, set uh, as uh, uh, we estimate estimated by the theorems I gave in the previous slide. Finally, uh, I introduce uh, this more concrete model. This is, uh, we are uh, uh, working just right now uh, on a model including uh, mutation division and selection. Uh, more precisely, um, the process starts this time, uh, at time, uh, this time with uh, um, an initial B cell entering the germinal center reaction and uh, with uh, initial amine, uh, distance from uh, the antigen uh, target cell H0. 
at each time step, each cell in the, within the population can die with rate uh, uh, RD. If not, it can divide with rate uh, uh, RD uh, and uh, after that, uh, each, uh, and when, when it divides, uh, uh, it gives rise to two newborn cells with uh, a trait which is mutated, referring to the mother cell, and uh, the mutations, uh, um, it's uh, the, the new uh, trait uh, is, uh, is obtained depending on the mutational rule we allow. So we are still working on our state space uh, of the trait HN. Um, in this context, we uh, define two different models of selection. Uh, we can say a positive-negative selection for model A and just a positive selection for model B. So in particular, in the first model, when a, a B cell is submitted to selection, uh, we observe a, a affinity to the target cell. Uh, if uh, uh, our hamming distance is greater than a, a certain threshold and we fixed, the, so the cell uh, will die by apoptosis. Uh, if uh, its affinity is good enough, uh, it exits the terminal center and enters the selected pool. Uh, the only thing that changed in the second model is, is uh, that if uh, uh, a negative uh, selected uh, cell just stay in the germinal center for the next time step and so eventually it can give rise to good uh, um, trait in further time step by mutation. Okay, uh, we were interested in, uh, in uh, study the evolution of the selected pool uh, in order to do that, we introduced the N plus three Galton, uh, N plus three type Galton Watson process. Uh, so that the Ti uh, is the vector containing the number of uh, of uh, cells of each type, starting from a time zero from a single I type cell. In particular, for each J between zero and N that Ji uh, counts the number of uh, germinal centers B cells having I mean, distance J from the target cell. The type N plus 1 uh, corresponds to selected B cells and the, time, uh, the type N plus 2 uh, to death B cells. So uh, by using all this formalism we are able uh, to um, study many uh, quantities of the process, in particular uh, the expected number of selected B cells t time t or at time t, their average affinity, but also uh, what happened in the germinal center, so uh, the number, the size of the germinal centers and the, the affinity in inside the germinal center. I conclude this last part uh, with some numerical simulations. Uh, as I said, we can evaluate many things uh, by using uh, the formulas of the multi-type Galton-Watson process. Uh, here I represent uh, the expected number of selected B cells after 15 time steps depending on uh, uh, the selection uh, uh, rate. Um, and comparing the two uh, models of selection, we can uh, clearly observe that uh, there is a, an optimal selection rate it's for that reason that uh, we evaluate numerically this optimal RS. We obtain two curves uh, which, curves, uh, which are similar for the two selection models. And uh, as expected, uh, is this uh, optimal RS is uh, decreasing in time. And finally, here I represent the, again the spectrum number of selected B cells after 15 times tests, but depending this time uh, from uh, the threshold that I choose for uh, um, se uh, for posi positive selection. Uh, this time uh, I see two uh, different <laughs> behaviors between the two models, in particular for uh, the model of uh, just positive selection, I have again a phenomenon of, ma of maximum. Well, uh, so um, what we have done is to build a mathematical environment which is uh, flexible enough in order to introduce and study different mutational rules and uh, their interaction between division and mutation and, and selection, for example. Also, it allows us to fix our point of view and decide if we are looking uh, to the mutation uh, at the DNA lever or directly observing the effective mutation on the amino acid chain. Uh, actually, we obtain models uh, which are of the same uh, kind. We have just to be clear about uh, the affinity. And uh, what we want to do is uh, uh, mathematical analyze uh, the complete model, including mutation, division, and selection, and that's uh, what I'm working on just right now. And also try to evaluate uh, other characteristics 
of the process in order to have a more global view of the of the process well thank you for uh, the attention that's uh, all i wanted to say today here thank you Um, um, uh, is there any question? Oh, when you uh, look at the experimentally how the B cells mutate, mm -hmm. does it fit better one of your three mutations? Well, uh, actually, uh, experimentally, uh, during somatic hypermutation, we have uh, uh, almost uh, only single point mutations but also uh, some other kind of mutation can happen. Um, for example, uh, what we call indels mutation, which is insertion or deletions, uh, that I don't, uh, didn't take into account here because uh, it makes other problems like uh, um, the length of, this of the chains can change, for example, and I don't take it uh, into account. Uh, so it there, but they are basically simple point mutations. Sometimes you can have two mutations uh, at each uh, uh, from uh, one generation to the next one, but not more actually. Any other questions? Uh, if not, uh, I have one question. Yeah. So uh, you have assumed that your selection criteria is constant in time. I, is that does that come from uh, biology uh, consideration? Not necessarily. We just uh, take uh, this selection uh, model because uh, it seems to us easy to study and uh, uh, also uh, while well, it, it it can it. We can understand it, it can be possible, but uh, maybe you, you have a, a selection pressures that, that change uh, during uh, the germinal center reaction. And also you have to consider other, uh, other facts. We also take uh, a selection function, that this is just a step uh, function, which is zero uh, um, after H HS and one before HS, for example. This is also an, as an assumption which is not uh, necessarily uh, the right one biologically. Okay, thank you. So let's thank uh, Jan again.